sang for a while, though. <laughs> Amen. Last week, praise the Lord, I almost lost my voice. Uh, well, I did lost my voice, praise the Lord. It sounds like I'm losing it again. <laughs> but praise the Lord, but I went ahead and preached uh, last week on Tuesday night, praise the Lord. The little voice that I had, praise the Lord, I brought up the word, praise the Lord. But it's good to, you know, it's been a while since I sang, praise the Lord, hallelujah. It's good to sing, amen, thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, amen. Amen. Clap your hand for Jesus one more time, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just lift up our hand, Father, we just thank you for this fundraising banquet tonight. We thank you for each and every person. They came out, they had something to do, but they decided to come out and support this Support this ministry, Lord God. We give you the praise. We give you the glory, God. We give you the honor. In the name of Jesus, we praise your mighty name, Lord God. Bless your word tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm not going to take too long. Praise the Lord. Now I ask for a pulpit. I guess we don't have any. Praise the Lord. So I'll just... Do what I can. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, just like to share one verse. Praise the Lord. It's found in First Corinthians uh, chapter fifteen. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell what I tell you. Amen. It's coming with you, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Good God. Pork chop, it does a teen, she look at you. Did he, uh, yes, she look at you, don't see yard, you said, Oh, see, it's a praise the Lord. So, amen. After I get done with it, praise the Lord, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get into it, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. But in 1 Corinthians, praise the Lord, if you got your Bible, praise the Lord, like I said, I'm not going to take too long, praise the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And verse 58, praise the Lord. You know, if you if you read the whole chapter of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, it talks about resurrection, amen. How many are glad that Jesus resurrected on the third day? Amen. A short line of fanatic praise the Lord. It's because of the resurrection that he made everything possible for every one of us, amen. amen. It's because that Jesus rose again the third day, praise the Lord, hallelujah. It's because of the resurrection that we are saved tonight. Amen. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. So chapter 15, it deals with resurrection, praise the Lord. Verse 51, it talks about the rapture. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Paul says, I show you a mystery. Amen. Praise the Lord. He's talking about the rapture. How many are how many are looking forward to that day? Amen. That's going to be one of the greatest days. Praise the Lord. When Jesus comes back for his children. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know about you. I want to see Jesus. Amen. I want to see Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wonder how tall is Jesus? Amen. I wonder what's the color of his eyes? Hallelujah. One of these days we're going to come face to face with Jesus. The one that died for us. The one that rose again for us. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to see Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I don't know but you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So praise the Lord. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. It deals with resurrection. Praise the Lord. But verse 58 is what I want to read tonight. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I usually have my notes with me, because since I don't have any pulpits, so because I can't use any notes, so whatever I have in my head, whatever I have in my heart, that's what I'm going to bring out. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, that's, 
That's my water and that's my pulpit, amen. <laughs> but it says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, he says, be ye steadfast. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Be ye steadfast. Yeah. Hallelujah. Do you have a strong, do you have a firm foundation tonight? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know, coming this way, praise the Lord. I was I was thinking about the the palm trees, but the Lord in Florida, amen. You know how these wind, a strong wind, praise the Lord, hallelujah. But praise the Lord, the palm tree, praise the Lord, it was to design, amen, to withstand the strong wind, amen. amen. Now, if you take one of these cactus, praise the Lord, or cigar, or praise the Lord, chinjage, amen. If you ship it down to Florida, praise the Lord, do you think it's going to stand a chance? Because cigar or cactus, praise the Lord, it wasn't designed for the, for the climate, praise the Lord, uh, the Florida climate, amen. It's designed for the desert here, amen. Right. So it won't stand a chance, praise the Lord. But the palm tree are designed, praise the Lord, to withstand a strong wind, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Yeah. You, know, you know, we see, praise the Lord, in the news, the weather channel, praise the Lord, how this strong wind comes and you would see this palm tree, it would just bend all the way down, almost almost touching the ground, praise the Lord. And when that storm passed by, praise the Lord, you know that palm tree is going to stand up again, praise the Lord. Because it was designed, praise the Lord, to stand strong wind, amen. Do you think that God designed as a children of God to stand temptation? <laughs> Trials? Tribulation, praise the Lord, hallelujah. The scripture says, be ye steadfast, amen. And Jesus says, whosoever heareth this say to mine and doeth him, I will liken him as a wise man, praise the Lord. The wise man built his house on the rock, praise the Lord. When the storm comes, amen, it's going to withstand, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. You know, praise the Lord, uh, I share this with uh, the congregation of our church now. I just had a dream uh, about four days ago, amen, four nights ago. In my dream, I was in the river. I was in the wash in St. Carlos, praise the Lord. There was another person with me, praise the Lord. I can't remember who that person was, praise the Lord, but we were walking in the wash, amen. And I could hear like, like a roar, praise the Lord, like a flood, amen. And I look over to the north, praise the Lord, and sure enough, there's a giant flood wave, like a wave, it's like coming toward us, praise the Lord. So I told him, look, praise the Lord, he looked over, amen, you know, praise the Lord. We start running for the higher, higher ground, praise the Lord. As we were standing up on top of the Lord, we noticed that there's another a person down below us, praise the Lord. We started yelling at him, hey, look, look, amen. He saw that flood, that giant flood, praise the Lord. So he stopped running, praise the Lord, amen. We all got up on top, praise the Lord. As we were getting up a little higher, praise the Lord, there's another voice that spoke, says, go a little higher, amen. And all that storm, oh, no, no, the storm, the flood, praise the Lord, it's just flowing by, praise the Lord, thank you, Jesus. And I told the congregation, I don't know what, what this stream means. It could mean that something is heading our way, praise the Lord, that we need to, that we need to pray, praise the Lord. And I told the congregation, maybe, I don't know, maybe it could be me. Maybe this is something that I'm going to have to face, praise the Lord, thank you, Jesus. But the way, praise the Lord, I look at it, the storm, praise the Lord, when I go up a little higher ground, praise the Lord, I believe God is telling me, through the flood, through the storm, I'm going to take you a little bit higher, amen. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Amen. So, praise the Lord, it says, be steadfast. 
And then the next one, he says, unmovable. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Coming this way, praise the Lord, I thought about the scripture, the word, praise the Lord, unmovable. At the same time, I was thinking about Brother Mike. Amen. <laughs> so Mike, praise the Lord, can you stand here in the front, praise the Lord. I just want to do a little demonstration, praise the Lord. Stand right here, praise the Lord. Amen. Okay, just, just be loose, man. <laughs> So I'm, I'm going to, no, praise the Lord, don't fall down, I'm going to push you. <laughs> praise the Lord, okay. <laughs> See, he's real loose, praise the Lord. Next time when I push him, you know what he's going to do? Amen, praise the Lord. He's going to reinforce himself, amen. So praise the Lord. Amen, okay, you can sit down. <laughs> That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> Amen. How many see the picture? Praise the Lord. If you if you're not prayed up, if you don't get into the Word, praise the Lord. You know what? You're weak. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How many know what I'm talking about? Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The one of Jesus says, "Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation." For the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Yes, Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I spend a lot of time in prayer. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, Sister Annie, uh, I was installed as a pastor last year in, in May. Praise the Lord. I believe it was May 19th. So next month, praise the Lord. I'll be in this position for the full year, praise the Lord. And I, I, I've been through a lot, praise the Lord. Amen. You know, praise the Lord, people come against you, they talk about you, they say all kinds of things, praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, one time, praise the Lord, uh, me and my son, we were traveling down the road, praise the Lord, and my son asked me, says, Dad, uh, doesn't it bother you? When people go against you, when they talk about you, does it bother you? And I told my son, praise the Lord, as long as I stay in prayer, as long as I'm filled with the word, it's not going to bother me, praise the Lord. But I, if I don't spend time in prayer, praise the Lord, if somebody says something up, you know, about me or come against me, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to do this. Say it one more time. <laughs> the flesh part, amen. Amen. And I, I explained to him, praise the Lord, about, I believe in John chapter 11, where Jesus says, praise the Lord, uh, isn't there 12 hours in the day, praise the Lord. You see, Jesus wasn't scared, Jesus wasn't afraid at all, praise the Lord, because he knew where he stood with God, amen. When he told his disciple, let's go into Judea, disciple says, what are you talking about? They tried to kill you with her. Why would you want to go back? Praise the Lord. That's when Jesus spoke that scripture. Praise the Lord. Isn't there 12 hours in the day? Praise the Lord. During the day, praise the Lord. You know what you're doing. You know where you are. Praise the Lord. At night, you can't see. You can stumble over a rock and fall. Praise the Lord. When Jesus was talking about, praise the Lord, he was talking about the will of the Lord. Daylight is the will of the Lord. Amen. If you know where you stand with God, praise the Lord. Amen. Nothing's going to move you. Nothing's going to touch you. Praise the Lord. Unmovable. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He says, unmovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Abounded means going forward. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How many would like to go forward? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Paul says, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Yeah. That prize. High calling of God in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Always abounding 
in the work of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. How many enjoy, praise the Lord, serving the Lord? Amen. How many enjoy walking with the Lord? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank God he gave us his word. He gave us his promise. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I always use the illustration when Peter was walking on the water. Praise the Lord. As long as his eyes was on Jesus, as long as his faith was focused on Jesus, he was walking on the water. Praise the Lord. He was walking to the Lord. Amen. But as soon as he took his eyes off, praise the Lord, that's when he began to sink. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's what we go through. Amen. If you if you stay focused in the word, hallelujah, if you keep your eyes on Jesus, praise the Lord, amen, you can walk over trouble, amen. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Always abounding in the work of the Lord, amen. The next one, it says, for as much as you know that you labor, it's not in vain in the Lord, son. Amen. Praise the Lord. The, uh, praise the Lord. Uh, praise the Lord. 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 No forget the Lord. church. Amen. Praise the Lord. East Fork, you will hear that it is a cool way. The sun in it is a praise the Lord, the Koharish Ah, that become none that the Bahas, Bahas Steve said, it is a cool young, it is a cool young, a cool way, the queer and us tongue, praise the Lord. So you can amplify the guitar, I want to have set up a shot. Hey, the sun, the cool, yes, it is a. Harishahi, <laughs> Jo <laughs> Ne <laughs> They are all in days in court. Kana yana tiu, praise the Lord. Hey, be careful now, ya ya tiu, what is yaw, it is a. Tu san, your husband, there are some tea. Di yin, shin, dish, din, it can, it is a. Di di yin, niko, yell, which was our husband, there are some tea. Praise the Lord. Do dip on a say, cast up. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Or in Yeti, as a spirit, become a Kura sentai kaju ha 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 kaju sendiri. 
Di dalam sah kacau itu sih dia sentuh awak mesti sah. Orang dah wujud ni, eh, setan nasdah ni tu, nari zaru wujud nasuk mesti sah. Jusir kau, tena sesi tu tu zaru, asli lah mesti sah praise the Lord. Saya kau pun ada waktu yang praise the Lord. But I want you to know, your labor in the Lord. It's not in vain, it is not. Amen. Coming to this banquet is not in vain. Amen. Traveling from a long ways, it's not in vain in the Lord to praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. One of these days, we're going to receive our reward. Yeah, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, I put in 41 years at the copper mine. Praise the Lord. Freeport. I work in a copper mine, praise the Lord, for 41 years, uh, Globe Miami area, praise the Lord. I got hired with inspiration, praise the Lord, and then uh, Cypress Copper took over, and then Felt Stodge took over, and then Freeport took over, praise the Lord. So I work for Ford Company, 41 years, amen. I remember, praise the Lord, they told me, amen, you know, I, I, I had some my vacation left. But they wanted me to come out for this one night, praise the Lord, you know, they had something planned for me. Amen, you know, praise the Lord. So, I had to come out that one night, shift, praise the Lord. And when I walked in, praise the Lord, all my co-workers were there. The day shift crew were there. The bosses were there. There was some food on the table. There was cake on the table. Praise the Lord. You know, they planned a, a going away party for me. Praise the Lord. You know, each one shook my hand. They hugged me. Praise the Lord. They gave me some plague. In fact, they gave me three plagues. Praise the Lord. It's got my name on it. 41 years of service. Praise the Lord. Man, I should have been a lot of copper for the company. Man, I should have been a real... Millionaire or no billion probably. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, praise the Lord. Things was going through my mind, praise the Lord, all the years that I put in. There were times, praise the Lord, I didn't want to go to work. There were times, praise the Lord, I just want to stay home and just lay around, watch TV all day. <laughs> but I had to go to work, praise the Lord. And that night, after 41 years of service, they rewarded me, praise the Lord, you know. My co-workers, they picked up some money, praise the Lord, thank you Jesus. You know, we had steak that night, cake, praise the Lord, hallelujah, amen. What I'm saying is, one of these days, I know, praise the Lord, God's going to say, Thou faithful servant, enter into the joy of the Lord, praise the Lord. Man. Sure, it gets hard sometimes, praise the Lord, but the scripture says, praise the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, praise God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. When you testify, when you sing, when you shout, praise the Lord, it's not in vain. Yes, man. Thank you, Jesus. 